A few months ago, I uploaded a video talking about the terrible breastfeeding and parenting advice that fake YouTube doctor and fruitarian Robert Morse gives to his gullible followers. I just watched my video back again, and even I was really shocked by just how bad this advice was. Robert Morse has told his followers that breastfeeding can cause cancer in children or fill up their lungs with mucus. He said that it's safe to give infants blended herbs and fruits and cut out breast milk or formula entirely from day one. He's warned people about the supposed dangers of vitamin B12 supplementation for breastfeeding vegan mothers, which is basically essential. And he even said that if you lose your pregnancy during a detox, that it's a good thing because it was probably a weak fetus. Quite astonishing stuff. So this is essentially a part two to that first video I made. And if you haven't seen it, I would recommend that you pause this video and go and watch that first, because I'm not going to be showing these clips of Robert Moore saying those things a second time. I'll put a link on the screen and in the description. So what I didn't say in that video is that I was motivated to make it by a particular case of child neglect orchestrated and encouraged by Robert Morse. And now that more details of this case have come out, I think it's a good time to talk about it. So here's the short story. A follower of Robert Morse starved his baby with a fruit-only diet, and now that child has irreversible brain damage and they'll require intensive care for the rest of their life. The parents will be tried for child neglect next year after pleading not guilty at a recent hearing, and the infant is now in the custody of their grandmother who is suing child welfare services for not intervening fast enough after she repeatedly warned them about what was happening. A local newspaper has published an article with details of the grandmother's case against child welfare services. So I'm going to paraphrase from their website because there's a lot of interesting details here. Just a quick word, the name of the child used in this article is Journey. I don't know if that's their real name, but the grandmother of the child who now has custody has shared this article with me, so she must be comfortable with that name being used in public. Anyway, let's go ahead and read from the article. According to the lawsuit, Journey's parents do not believe in modern medicine, and the father is an avid follower of Dr. Robert Morse, a Florida doctor who uses naturopathic medicine. Morse teaches that cancer is caused by eating cooked or processed foods which mothers pass on to their children through breast milk. In accordance with Morse's medical advice, Journey was not fed breast milk or a breast milk substitute, which is crucial to the development of newborns and infants. And instead, his parents forced him to feed off the placenta for more than a week after his birth. Journey's grandmother became concerned about her grandson as his malnourished physique persisted into the second month of his life. She also discovered that her son had given Journey ice baths and subjected the baby to a 100 degree sauna as part of toxological practices. She reported Journey's poor health, lack of development and poor nourishment to the Tulare County Child Welfare Services. A social worker and a registered nurse visited the home and determined that Journey was severely malnourished. They educated the family on the importance of breast milk or a proper substitute and both parents voluntarily participated in a child safety plan for three months. Journey's health improved during the safety plan but rapidly declined shortly after because they stopped providing milk and instead only provided him with raw fruits and vegetables. As a result of what he was fed and the lack of nourishment, he became bloated, failed to grow, had rashes over his entire body and showed significant signs of malnutrition. Journey's parents took him and several of his half-brothers who had been subjected to similar practices when they were younger to Costa Mesa, California on a family vacation. When they attempted to wake Journey up on August 1st, 2020, he was unresponsive. He was taken to the Children's Hospital of Orange County where doctors specializing in infant care found him to have profound brain damage. The doctors attributed his brain damage to his diet and lack of nutrition, which essentially deprived his brain of oxygen. Now almost a full year old, Journey's condition was deemed to be permanent, meaning he will need intensive care for the rest of his life. Journey was taken into custody by Orange County Child Protective Services and temporarily placed in foster care until a hearing could be held to place him in the custody of his grandmother. The Orange County District Attorney's Office filed criminal charges against Journey's parents, including one count of child endangerment with enhancements for great bodily injury. The parents pled not guilty to all charges at an arraignment and a jury trial is set for early next year.
So it's a really tragic story, obviously, and I have some sympathy for the parents. They're following the advice of someone who they think is a doctor. Even though they cause Journey a lot of harm, you have to assume that they were trying to get their baby healthy. And let's be real, they themselves must be vulnerable. No sane person is going to put a baby in an ice bath. And I often think this when I read the comments on Morse's videos, or listen to the emails he reads out from his viewers. The people who follow his advice are often uneducated, some of them are very likely to have eating disorders or other serious problems with their mental health, and they're very frequently isolated from their family, which Morse often encourages. You only have to watch a few of his videos to see that. And about Morse, well, so far he's come off scot-free, of course. Recently he's been japing around on his show with his stupid Halloween outfit, not a care in the world. Time to go have a Halloween party. Love you guys. Next, vi next video, I'll say. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah. And um, he's introduced a new professor to his National School of the Healing Arts and Sciences. Hello, my dear ones. Dr. Morris here, and I want to introduce our new professor to our uh, International School of the Healing Arts and Sciences, Professor Magdalena. And this professor is amazing. But she's not a professor, though. She's an Instagram influencer, and it's not a school, it's a scam. But what would Morse care? He bought his own worthless degrees in exactly the same way. I actually think Morse might be aware of this case, because in March last year, he uploaded a video discussing a case that sounds kind of similar to this one. So let's play a clip of that. There's a case now up where the mother... I uh, quit breastfeeding at uh, one week, I think it was, or two weeks, one week or two weeks. And uh, the baby is now in liver, f well, the baby's died, but the baby had liver failure and kidney failure. Now, the story goes that the mother took her off breastfeeding and put her on fruit. Now, the mother's got a second child. This child, she breastfed for one month, uh, then put this child on fruit. This child is thriving. The first child now is dead. So th this is an important case because I think it's important that if you're a mother and you want to do something like don't breastfeed at all, then you got to call us and let us work with you through that. Okay, so a lot of the details are different here, but then Morse is famously good at getting things wrong, so this may be his own confused report of the situation. Perhaps he felt that it needed more drama, or maybe he's corresponding with a different mother and also tricked them into starving their child as well. Who knows? Who cares? YouTube certainly doesn't care. I've reported Morse's channel for this dangerous advice over and over again. Nothing happens, of course. But if you also think it's a bad idea for YouTube to host videos of someone pretending to be a doctor encouraging parents to starve their children, you can join me in this futile quest by reporting Morse's videos. I've linked them in the description, and I've even added the timestamps for the offending statements. Oh, and by the way, I already know what Morse's defenders will say. They'll dispute some minor detail of the story as not being in keeping with Robert Morse's true teachings, as if the problem here was an insufficient input from Robert Morse. And maybe we'll have some kind of stupid counterexample from another ignorant parent currently ice-bathing or starving their child whilst claiming it's perfectly healthy. Here's a thought to ponder on. I can almost 100% guarantee that Journey's parents claimed their baby was healthy and that Morse's methods were working perfectly right up to the point where they couldn't wake their baby. Such is the confusion that Morse's followers are under. And when I read these comments on my channel like Robert Morse saved my life or Robert Morse's teachings restored my health, I never take them seriously because Morse's followers have no idea what health is. I suspect that Journey's parents probably think their baby is just one detox or melon fast away from bursting back into life. Sometimes I wonder if I'm perhaps not the best person to make these kind of videos. I don't have much sensitivity for these subjects, and I'm not any kind of medical professional or even a parent. But then there are so few people countering Morse's misinformation, I do feel kind of compelled to keep going. If you thought this video was informative, please share it to Morse's various 
Facebook groups. Yes, you'll be kicked out of the groups for posting anything critical of Morse, but on the plus side, you'll be kicked out of the group, so you'll never have to suffer through all the sycophantic rubbish people post in there anyway. And clearly no one enjoyed this video, but if you want to support whatever it is I'm doing, you can subscribe to my channel and rate the video up. Maybe share this video to someone who has actual YouTube clout. What, do we need a hashtag or something to stop Robert Morse? I really don't know.